All right, it's time for another update and forecast on Tropical Storm Hillary. Right now we have 45 mile per hour sustained winds and you can see a large amount of moisture has moved into California. So it looks like the low itself pushed inland at about 8 p.m. this evening. And then it is expected to weaken to a tropical depression by at least 5 a.m. on Monday. And then where you still see that orangish color right there, that's where we're still seeing some tropical storm force winds. And you notice it's on the eastern side of the low, and I'll explain why that's happening in just a moment. But first, the first thing that I should always show is what warnings are going on across California. We do have one rogue red flag warning up here because of some wildfire danger. But other than that, it's just due to Tropical Storm Hillary. We have a flood watch reaching from Southern California almost all the way up to Tahoe. The red color is the first tropical storm warning in the history of California. And then underneath that, there's also a gold color which represents a high wind warning. And then on top of all that is the dark burgundy color and that's going to be your flash flood warnings. And we've seen those just all across Southern California really since this afternoon when we started to see a lot more of the heavy rainfall showing up. That was when we started pushing a lot more moisture in. And you notice how it's almost covering the entire state at this point, but the heaviest rainfall that we're seeing is still down in Southern California. You can see that on the radar right here. I'd say earlier this afternoon, it did look like it was raining heavier in the Los Angeles area. We had widespread areas that were colored that were covered in that yellow to orangish. I heard of a number of stations that were picking up two inches of rainfall in just two hours, which guaranteed that's going to lead to some flooding there. And then we are starting to see more of the yellow color, which represents your heavier rainfall, now pushing up much farther from Southern California because the low is moving up in that direction as well. Now just looking at some of our rainfall numbers, See that right there, that's a 5.96, that's a 5.59, and then around Los Angeles, especially up in the mountains, as expected, we ended up picking up 4.2 inches, 4.5 inches, 5.8 inches, we've got 4.8, 4.6, so yeah, we definitely ended up picking up a large amount of rainfall over a short period of time, and that's why if you've seen some of the footage coming out, there has been some widespread flash flooding due to the heavy rainfall, and we always knew that that was going to be the major impacts of this storm would be flood related. But with that being said, we are also seeing some very gusty winds out there. And I have heard of some wind damage happening. And it makes sense when you look at some of the winds that are still going on right now. You could see a 40 mile per hour gust right there, but the max gust for the day was 58 miles per hour. And I was clicking through these not too long ago and I did see a couple stations that had a max gust around 60 miles per hour. That one is 56 right there. And we also had some gusty winds right around Los Angeles. So when it comes to the winds, as I mentioned earlier, the windiest conditions were on the eastern side of the low. And the reason is because you have the circulation around the low, but then the low is also moving forward. So then you can almost add up your circulation wind with the speed of the storm itself. So then on that eastern side where the winds are rushing in the same direction as the storm, that's where your strongest winds are going to be. And that's what's filled in over California over the last few hours. And it looks like it's just going to continue to fill up into the Sierra as we enter the overnight hours tonight. And then tomorrow morning, it looks like most of the intense parts of this storm have moved on and Southern California basically looks to be in the clear at that point. So just looking at the tropical storm force wind speed probabilities, this actually looks more significant than what we were looking at over the last couple days. So it looks like while this storm did decrease in intensity rapidly from when it was in the very warm water around Baja, California. It went from a category four down to the tropical storm that we have right now, and we have 45 mile per hour winds. At originally, we were only expecting about a five to 10% chance that we would see tropical storm force winds in the Southern Sierra. Now it almost looks like a guarantee that parts of Nevada will even see some tropical storm force winds before this turns into a tropical depression. 
And then on top of that, again, winds, certainly a factor out there, but the main risk out there and the main damages that I've been able to see just in video footage so far, it's probably going to take a couple days just to tally up all the damage that's taken place because of this storm. But stretching from Southern California into Nevada, we now have that moderate, at least 40% chance of flash flooding. And then in the purple color, which stretches into Nevada as well, that's at least a 70% chance of flash flooding. And there's even marginal chances all the way up here in Northern California. Looks like as the storm itself moves north, its moisture is going to spread out. And we'll be picking up more widespread showers even into Northern California tomorrow. That actually might be the one silver lining on the storm as we have dozens of fires burning up in Northern California right now. And eh, we could actually use a little rainfall up there, not only to put out the fires right now, but to bring a little bit more moisture back into our fuels. As long as it's not so much moisture that it leads to flooding or mudslides on some of the burn scars that are quite fresh up there. So this is our recent model run. Just interested to see if anything's changed since we looked at this earlier this evening. So Sunday, 11 p.m. That's... I'd say that looks consistent with the heavy rain moving up into the Southern Sierra, but it is still showing some very heavy rain over Los Angeles. And I would say that goes along with what we're seeing on the radar imagery. Still does look like we have some heavy rain down there where you see the yellow shading at the moment. Then as we move to 2 a.m. tonight, it looks like that heavy rain then finally starts to move more north. Oops. And then it's going to hang around till Monday morning. Then it moves off into Nevada. And then by Monday morning, that's 8 a.m., looks like Southern California. It may have a few passing showers out there, but the heaviest rain and the strongest winds have certainly moved on at that point. So just looking at the total precipitation, just going to click through here. Looks like we could still get another one to two inches. That's that red color. And then the yellow Right there, that's four inches, but it makes sense that we'd still have more rainfall up towards the north because the low is still on its way up there at the moment. But yeah, another one to two inches down in Southern California on top of all of the rain that we've already picked up. And in some cases, we picked up five to potentially even six inches out there. So just looking at the track one more time, it's a tropical storm right now, 45 mile per hour sustained winds going to turn into a tropical depression and that's where it's going to be 5 a.m. on Monday. So it's going to continue to decrease in intensity. You can look 12 hours out from now. About half the models have it still as a tropical storm. Maybe half the models have it turning into a tropical depression. And then the further away, away it gets from the ocean, the more energy it loses, the more rainfall it loses. So then it's just going to still bring some rainfall to other parts of the United States, but yeah, the strongest damage as we knew was going to happen is down in Southern California. And yeah, we'll certainly watch over the next few days to see just how bad the damage is. And it is still going on right now. I'm looking at one map that shows where the flash flood warnings are and it's all over Southern California at the moment. Doesn't look like we'll be in the clear, I'd say, until maybe the middle of the night to tomorrow morning for the more Southern portions of the state. And then we'll still feel some impacts into the mountains into tomorrow morning, and then more widespread showers across California, but of the less intense kind as we move forward. So hopefully this video was helpful. I just wanna do one more update before I wrapped up the day. And uh, yeah, hopefully everybody stayed safe out there in Southern California, and thanks for watching.